to not be slaughtered, to not get what you deserve, but instead he offers you eternal, abundant life with him for all eternity. God Almighty offers you everything. Here it comes. Are you paying attention? Repent ye. Repent ye and believe the gospel. That's the terms. That's the deal. God offers you everything. Real, eternal, abundant riches in the Lord Jesus Christ. And what He commands you to do is to turn from your sins through real repentance and to believe in the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God wants to call you out. Call you out of the darkness and call you into the marvelous light of the gospel. God wants to solve That's your sin problem. Everything you're doing is very one-sided. Your sin is the problem. Your sin separates you from God. God hears all God is holy and you are not. But Jesus Christ has come that you could be reconciled to God. Jesus died. He died a brutal death. He shed his blood so that you could be washed clean, so that the chains that hold you bound could be broken, so that you, a slave of sin, could be set free. The Bible describes how the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty. Look. Hang on a second. Turn this around. I'm from here. I understand what's going on. Look. This is what God wants for you. They that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. God wants you to die to your old sinful self. Now, he's not talking about suicide. You need to be crucified. Crucified with the Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Your old sinful man needs to die. Die on the cross. Die in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to be buried with Him in baptism. And instead of living a life of rebellion, living in the old life, living in your flesh, living in that sinful man, you now need to live a new life. You need to live in the Spirit. But if you will repent, if you be born again, born of the Spirit, God will give you God will give you right now His Holy Spirit.